Welcome to the VBMAP Milestone Assessment. This will be the first assessment you complete when using the VBMAP. Looking at your guidebook, you'll notice that the Milestone Assessment will assess 170 verbal milestones across three developmental levels. This assessment is looking at students' development of typical language, as well as other learning milestones, such as match to sample skills. This is a criterion referenced assessment and can be conducted with any individual with a language delay, regardless of age or diagnosis. Let's dive into how to administer the milestone assessment. Our goal is to effectively and efficiently determine what the student can do so that we can design an appropriate instructional program. Each student will have an electronic scoring form. This can be found in a link at the end of this training. Please make a copy of this document for each student and only edit your copy. This scoring form can be used for up to four separate testing dates and should be color coded a different color for each date of assessment. I will show you an example of this momentarily. Information can be gathered in a variety of ways, review of records and data, interviews with parents, other teachers and service providers, observations of the student and direct testing of specific skills. For each skill, there are five milestones for a total of five possible points. Scoring for each milestone will either be a zero, a half a point or one point. How you test each skill and how you determine the points the student receives is found in the assessment guide. Let's take a look at the assessment guide. The guidebook provides you with a comprehensive, detailed description of the skill you are testing and the criteria for scoring either a zero, half a point, or one point. You can pre-score any known items, but be careful of items that require a timed observation. For example, in level one, play skill two wants to assess whether the student shows variation in play by interacting with five different items during a 30 minute timed observation. To receive a full point, the student must play with five different items within the 30 minute observation window. If the student only plays with three items in 30 minutes, they receive a half a point. If the student plays with less than three items, they receive zero points for this skill. Let's walk through the milestone assessment together. This is a master scoring form. For our first assessment, we are going to look at MANDS. Recall from our verbal behavior module that a MAND is a request. First, you want to make sure you are in the correct column. We are using yellow for this test date, but next time we will test, we will use a different color. Notice that the numbers go from one to five starting at the bottom. Make sure you are going in the correct order so that you are scoring the correct test item. Now we start filling in boxes. This is done using the paint option at the top of your toolbar. For a half a point, you will only fill up to the dotted line. For level one, man one, the student needs two mans to receive a full point. If the student only has one man, they receive a half of a point. If the student has two mans, they receive one full point. The guidebook provides criteria and examples for each skill you are assessing. For more information on any skill item, check the guidebook. If you've assessed the entire skill section and the student received zero points, then fill in the bubble at the bottom. This indicates that you assess the skill, but no points were credited. Remember that this assessment does not have to be completed in a day. You can pre-score any known items that you know the student can or cannot do. Make a note next to the items that you need to formally observe or test. And lastly, assess the scores vertically. Before we move on to the barriers assessment in the next module, let's look at what we mean by assess vertically. Let's look at Jacob. You'll notice that while Jacob has no points under tacting, that's identifying and labeling objects, he has a lot of play skills. When Jacob's teacher was assessing his skills, she would have stopped at level one for manding and tacting. But when she got to the section on play skills, she noticed that he received all points in level one. So she moved on to assessing level two skills before moving on to the next skill set in level one. This is assessing vertically. 
some of our students have a lot of skills in one area and we want to make sure that they get full credit before moving on. Now it's time to look at the Barry's assessment and the next module.